Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying to Buy Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a reading. All right, let's get right into it. Two overall energies for my beautiful, whoa, Sagittarius. Did you all see how that came out? Okay. <laughs> Somebody could have a cold. Somebody could be feeling a little under the weather. Somebody could have like um, really bad allergies right now. We have snake and we have flowers. Okay. So the snake usually represents an illness, a remedy, medication, doctors, nurses, um, intuition, somebody that's very highly intuitive. Somebody could be um, going through uh, the symptoms of ascension, okay? I have a little thing on my community board that um, lists the descriptions of, of things you may be feeling as you're going through like a spiritual ascension or a spiritual awakening, okay? Um, this also can represent the spring equinox that we're, you know, we are in March now and everything's gonna start blooming. Also, you know, the snake also represents a sneaky, snaky play with the flowers. Maybe be careful um, if somebody's being overly generous, overly nice. There's a method to their madness. Uh, there's a reason behind their kindness, possibly, all right? So let's get into the kipper. We'll see what this actually actually is for the Sagittarius today. Why is snake and flowers here? Oh, let's read the message. I'm sorry. Snake, your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. And then we have flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Success. You might be a spiritual healer, like I said, um, or a light worker tarot reader, spiritualist, and you might be going through uh, the symptoms of ascension. You'll, you'll be feeling better soon, okay? I feel like you're almost at the tail end of it. <laughs> All right. Fevers, chills, out of nowhere, night sweats. I know it sounds like like uh, the flu symptoms, but there's no coughing involved. There's no sneezing. There's no sore throat. It's like your body is responding. Okay. All right. Let's go. Snake and flowers for the Sagittarius. Okay. Concern. All right. So... We are at concern, okay? And I feel like you are going through some sort of um, ascension with the, this is the 33, okay? So um, Christianity, I, that, that's my religion. And 33 is a Christ conscious number. 33 is the age Christ was crucified, okay? So with this light source coming in through the window, that's God's love, that's God's warmth, that's divine energy. This is your spiritual team trying to get a hold of you. <laughs> Um, trying to get your attention, uh, but somebody's ignoring the red flags, okay? Uh, somebody's ignoring their intuition. Somebody's in their own way. I'm not exactly sure what you're worried about. What is this worry for the Sagittarius? What is this concern? Maybe like you didn't understand. Maybe you're at the beginning phases of your spirituality. Maybe you're entering into spirituality um, and you welcomed it in, but you didn't realize that it, it comes with a certain, um, it, it will, your body will respond to it. Okay. And it, it responds to it like you, you're getting the flu. But without the coughing, without the sore throat and all that, this is that stuff, okay? Um, so maybe you're, you're concerned, like, what's going on with me? <laughs> you're having a spiritual awakening. All right, let's see what else. 
for the Sagittarius. I'm also feeling maybe somebody that's entering into spirituality or tarot or, you know, those kind of things that you're worried about if, if you are Christian or, you, you know, Catholic or, you know, whatever your religion is, you're worried if it's like, if you're doing something bad, if you're doing something, not if you keep it on the light side, you know, you don't really need to label what's good and evil. You already know what that is. Okay. So you stay on the light side of things. You'll be good. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we are as community. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> I think you're entering in. Uh, it, this might be new territory of spirituality or the esoteric or whatever you're getting into. And you're worried about how other people are going to view you. Okay. So. If you're really worried, then don't do it. Okay. Because this is something that you shouldn't be ashamed of. This is something that you shouldn't hide from or hide um, from people. Okay. So if you're entering the ring, don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed or don't enter. Okay. All right. And then we have the karma card here. <laughs> this is the jackpot. So you're, you're striking, you're, you're like, I don't know. This is good fortune. This is, this is good luck. Um, you know, you were put on this path for a reason and Yeah, I just feeling like you're feeling concerned that you're doing the right thing or it, it is the right thing and it's right it's the right thing it might not be the right thing for everybody but it's going to be the right thing for you. It's like jackpot, okay? <laughs> or you're coming into some really good fortune here, okay? So with 11, that's the karma card, that's the justice number 11 and something about you winning. All right, these are winnings here. It, this is 777. Seven is the number of heaven, okay? So this is a divinely guided message for somebody. And this is good luck. This is all the cherries. This is payout time. <laughs> all right, one more for the Sagittarius. Or, okay. Maybe you have a loved one that's concerned about what you're doing or what you're entering into and they want you to stop it. They want you to cut it off. Maybe you're making a living doing this. And they don't like that how you're coming into to money. They think there's something shifty or shady about it, but they can mind their own fucking business. All right, here we are with the home. Okay, so something about a per new purchase of a home. Um, this is union. This is an engagement. This is moving in together. And maybe you just moved into a new place or maybe you're your lifestyle, if you're entering in like this, you know, your spiritual business or whatever is helping you uh, is really being lucrative and you're financially sound. And maybe you just purchased a newer home or you're looking to move in. Um, maybe you're having a house built, but this is the four of wands. This is another, you know, we have the 11 on the board. So this is a destined, uh, this is a destined number. The four of wands is a, an 11 and an 11. So now we have 11, 11, 11. So this is really good luck for you. This is the path that you're supposed to be on. This is your, um, don't let somebody, somebody else's opinion dictate what you do with your life. Okay. So, um, it's okay. And the divine is giving you a thumbs up too. This is where you're supposed to be. All right. Let's get into it with the tarot. And if this is, I mean, maybe you met your person through 
spirituality or whatever you're you know i i just feel like also this is this is a marriage this is a love connection this means union so i believe if you're not in union with the person that um right now you're definitely crossing paths with them i don't know why am i feeling love at first sight energy <laughs> I'm feeling love at first sight and also another like I'm just feeling that strong look up angel number 1111 okay Th these are you know those numbers that are in synchronicity you have 1111 you have the 33 whatever is coming in for you is divinely guided you're an intuitive you're an empath okay you might be having that empath uh, sickness right now, but that's all part of it, okay? We all go through it. <clears throat> Don't be scared of it. Just let it come, let it pass. This is your body's natural reaction to uh, receiving downloads from source, okay? Yeah, there's a love connection coming in for the Sagittarius. Like the one. Okay, I'm hearing the one. The person that you're destined to be with for your time here on Earth. Like I said, you could already be moving in together. You might already be with your person. But if you're not, you are shortly coming into union. I would say within the next four months now until four months from now okay now we have the seven of wands that wanted to come out so i believe that this was judgment like people were judging you your community okay or your family or people that are close to you, they're kind of being a little judgmental on, on what you're choosing to do with your life. Okay, they're saying all sorts of bullshit to you. Just just stand your ground, stand your beliefs. You know in your heart what what's meant for you. And... Um, like, they're all coming to your door. They're all worried that you're doing... You know, that, that bullshit. You sold your soul to the devil bullshit. No. no. Obviously, they don't understand. And you can, you know... Speak your truth. Give your side. And whether they receive it... I mean, that's their, their, that's their God-given free will. But you don't have to stand there and tolerate it. Stand your ground. Block these people if they get too much into your privacy, too much into your personal space. There might you might have to um, separate from this energy if it's like a constant drag on your like they're emotional vampires, you know, and they're trying to work manipulate you and you know, and I think it's also stemming from jealousy because if you are like um, okay. <laughs> Hey, we have the emperor that almost wanted to come out. Um, and the emperor can represent a few different things, okay? But the emperor is God, okay? And the emperor is king of all kings. And you have a lot of godly energy on the board right now. You have the spiritual ascension. You have the number 33. And you have the number 11 here consistently. So... You're on your guided paths, uh, Sagittarius. And I feel like there's somebody that's not agreeing with it. Maybe several people. And they're all worried about you. <laughs> so, they don't need to be worried. You're fine. You're not... You know, what they, they... You know, what the movies made you think. You know, with the pentagrams and the... You know sacrifices in the the forest that's not it that's not it okay that that's hollywood drama you explain yourself you stand your ground and whether they stand with you that's you know that's on them and if not you need to set that that energy free because it's only going to drag you down all right 
<clears throat> more on this relationship i feel it strongly feel like and in the spirituality of this path that you're on i feel it's going to lead you to your your forever person okay um they might be they might do the same thing that you do okay there's that like that common thread there's that connection there but i'm feeling like a love at first sight energy for sure okay more for the sagittarius please oh my god the emperor almost wanted to come out and here is the sun okay so the sun is warmth the sun is god's love and you know immediately when you go outside and you feel that warm sunshine on your skin and that you just feel loved and that's god's love okay so this is the same light source that is coming in from the window um something's being illuminated something's being exposed um this is the happiest card in the tarot deck okay this is happiness this is sunshine so something really happy something really lucky maybe this is also um you know everything grows towards the sun and we have flowers here so maybe you're being celebrated maybe there's like you know somebody's congratulating you but you what i'm feeling with these cards is that you're really doing something that makes you happy it makes you happy in your spirit and make and like you're shining from the inside out and it's getting noticed okay and i don't know why people are having a problem with your happiness but they're trying to make something that makes you happy they're trying to they're trying to uh, make it seem like it's a bad thing and you're you're being told to stand your ground okay all right more for the sagittarius please okay All right, so now that we have the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is worry, it's anxiety. Somebody I really feel that you have like a real religious person in your life that rejects, that's not very open-minded to anything else. And they're really projected, on, projecting on you. They're making you feel like what you believe is evil. <laughs> um, I just, this is that concern energy, okay? Somebody's really worried. Somebody's really concerned. Um, maybe this is you concerned about your spiritual ascension, okay? Like I said, you could be in the beginning and I, or, or you... Or your gift is just becoming heightened. It's just becoming stronger. And you might be getting more downloads. It might be um, a little frightening to you. Um, but it will pass. Or, like I said, you have somebody extremely religious uh, connected to you that doesn't agree with what you're doing. Okay? All right, let's start wrapping this up. Okay, now we have the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so the Eight of Swords is more worry, more being in your head, more being in the prison of your own making. Okay. This is like putting yourself in isolation. Or this is somebody trying to do that, you know, trying to stop you, trying to get in your head and make you really um, question yourself. Oh God, what is it? I don't know who the fuck you're dealing with, but Jesus, here's the, here is the seven of swords now. We have the seven of swords. There's a chunk that wanted to come out. We have the seven of swords. We have the hangman. <clears throat> yeah, they don't like what you're doing for work with the eight of pen. Okay, let's read them off real fast. So the seven of swords. Uh, somebody's being sneaky. Somebody's being sly. They don't trust in what you're doing. They don't believe in what you're doing. They think that you're the seven of swords for going this route of spirituality. Okay. Um, they feel like you're doing it because you're stuck financially. 
but you're a hard, diligent worker with the Eight of Pentacles. You're really concentrating on your work. You're really um, studying. You're really educating yourself. You want to be the best at, at what you um, apply yourself to be. And um, I don't know if the money has come in yet, but it will. It's in the ethers, okay? Um, but you're really just focused on what your 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 goals and achievements will be in the future. And there's a little rat on this guy's desk watching over him, watching his every move, okay? So if you have a public platform, know that you have a hater watching, okay? And um, they're gonna be pulling out all the stops, okay? And why you shouldn't be doing what you're doing, but they're just jealous. Maybe they should go to church for that. <laughs> Here it is. What did I just say? This spy. I didn't even see this card. This is the card of spying, prying, um, doing your instant, you know, investigations, doing your research. Okay, they have an eye on you. This is a. I feel like this is like a relative. Okay, so then we have the four of cups. Maybe you're so focused on your work that you're not like hanging out with them as much as you used to. You're really like, yeah, isolating yourself and educating yourself, okay? Maybe that's why you have people worried because you're acting distant, but they just don't understand what you're doing, okay? <clears throat> so maybe they've been trying to visit, maybe they've tried to call you, um... But they feel like this disconnect, this distance. So that's why they're probably a little concerned. But um, they're feeling a little left out. They're feeling a little rejected. You know, they're feeling like, <laughs> you're, you know, so-and-so is involved in a cult now. <laughs> it's just not what it is. But, you know, they go really dramatic with it. They go in like the Hollywood version of what spirituality is and everything else. But... Um, maybe they're doing it just because they love you, you know, and they're just concerned. I feel like there's, um, this is either that love story that I was talking about. Uh, there's a love offer coming in with the Knight of Cups. So somebody really wants to offer their cup of love to you, Sagittarius, or there's a horse here. So that, that's Sag Sagittarian energy, but I feel a love offer is coming in and, um, it's really going to be something beautiful. I mean, we have the union card here. So you might be coming in connection with your twin flame. But if it's not that, this is uh, maybe a family member coming in to apologize for being um, like overly concerned and maybe exchanging some harsh words to make you feel bad. Um, I know the wording might have been bad, but I feel like their heart was in the right place because they just care about you. But you got to set them straight, Sagittarius, okay? All right, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.